to tell you the story of the grasshopper and the ants. Look on page one in your picture book and you'll see the grasshopper. He has big back legs so that he can jump very high and a long tail he can sit on. And look at what that grasshopper is doing. He's spitting. <laughs> it looks like tobacco juice, but of course it isn't. Say, Mr. Grasshopper, why do you spit? That isn't very polite. Nope, I guess it isn't. But I have to. You see, um, I protect myself that way. Well, <laughs> I guess all grasshoppers have to spit. Now, if you'll turn the page whenever I ring my bell, I'll tell you some more about him. Like this. There. Whenever you hear that bell, turn the page. You should be on page two. And just see what that grasshopper has in his hand. A fiddle. This grasshopper can do something no other grasshopper can do. Believe it or not, he can play the fiddle and sing. Listen. Oh, the world owes me a living. The world owes me a living. I don't want to work and slave when it's such a pretty day. Come on, let's sing and dance and play. But while the grasshopper played in the summer sun, all the ants were busy preparing and storing food for the winter. Look at all the ants hard at work putting away food. There are some slicing up carrots. And there are some taking corn off the cob. You see, they're gathering all that food and putting it away so they'll have food all winter long. Look at that little ant trying to pull that big cart full of cherries. Gosh! Gee whiz! This is handy! Can't seem to budge it! See no reason to worry and work, no sir. <laughs> Not me. Oh, the world owes me a living. The world owes me a living. <laughs> you should soil your Sunday pants like those other foolish ants. Come on, let's sing and play and dance. <laughs> While he fiddles, look who's coming, the queen ant, the one that rules over all the ants. Hiya, Queenie. Mr. Grasshopper, what do you mean by telling one of my ants such nonsense? Oh, don't yeah. you know that if you don't work during the summer that you'll starve during the winter? Why don't you join us and help carry food into our home? You can't afford to waste your time fiddling and singing. Oh, why should I work? There's plenty of food. All the leaves I can eat. You go ahead and work. I'm going to play. You'll change that tune when winter comes and the ground is covered with snow. Oh, winter time's a long way off. Do you dance? <coughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, the world owes us a living. The world owes us a living. <laughs> you should saw your Sunday pants like those other foolish ants. Come on, let's sing and play and dance. 
So the queen ant walked off, leaving the grasshopper fiddling away. For she had quickly realized that he wouldn't listen to her good advice. She had tried to be helpful, but the grasshopper would not listen. All he wanted to do was sing and dance. And as it turned out later, he was mighty sorry. <laughs> As the grasshopper fiddled away and the ants worked, summer passed by. The leaves on the tree started to change color and fall to the ground. The grasshopper still managed to get plenty to eat by picking up leaves from the ground. And he still didn't worry about the coming of winter. While the ants... They were busy storing away the food they had gathered all summer long. They ran in and out of their big house, packing it in as fast as they could, while the queen ant watched and directed. Hurry up now. It will be snowing in a few more weeks. All right? Everybody inside. Now, shut the door and bolt it. <laughs> And winter came. The wind whistled and the snow fell and covered the ground all over. The trees were stripped of their last remaining leaves and everything became frozen. There was not a bit of food to be found any place. Of course, the ants were inside their house. But what about the grasshopper? There he is over there in the snow. Food! Food! I must have food! I'm starving! The trees are bare, and the ground is frozen, and I can't find anything to eat. Oh, why didn't I listen to the Queen Anne? Oh, why didn't I listen to her? Oh. And while the grasshopper, cold and starving, lay in the snow outside, inside the ants were warm and comfortable and having a fine time. all sat around a big banquet table with the queen ant at the head of it, and they ate to their heart's content good hot soup made from the carrots and vegetables they had stored, corn, fruit, and even desserts made from all the cherries they had put away. They were warm and comfortable and happy. Outside, the grasshopper managed to drag himself up to their door, and suddenly the ants heard... Opening it... There, they saw the grasshopper lying in the snow. So they picked him up and carried him into their house, bolting the door again against the cold winter snow. Well, when the ants got the grasshopper inside, they got buckets of hot water. One for his right foot. One for his left foot and one for his tail. Then they covered him with a blanket and started to feed him hot soup so that he could get warm and get his strength back. That soup certainly tasted good to him and the color came back into his face. He had just about eaten the whole bowl when the queen ant suddenly saw what was going on and came over to the grasshopper. Well, I see you've come to us for help. Do you remember last summer when I told you to put away some food for the winter? Yes, ma'am, I am. I even invited you to join us and help us work and share our home and our food. Yes, ma'am, but you see, I... Uh... And you laughed at me and said you didn't have to work and that all you wanted to do was play your fiddle and sing. But please, I... Uh... Well, now you can see that you must work to eat. Oh, oh, yes, Mrs. Queen Ant. I can see that now. If only you'd give me another chance, I'd never be so foolish again. Oh, madam, please, wisest of ants, don't throw me out. 
Please give me a chance. With ants, just those who work may stay. So take your fiddle and play. And the grasshopper picked up his fiddle, beat his foot in the bucket of water, and played while all the ants hopped and danced around to the music. There's the queen back on her throne. Some of the ants are still eating, but most of them prefer to dance now that they have music. And the grasshopper now felt he was earning his keep by playing his fiddle and entertaining the ants during the winter. You see, the queen ant forgave him because he'd learned his lesson. You can tell he'd learned his lesson or listen to what he's singing now. Oh, I owe the world a living. I owe the world a living. I've been a fool the whole year long. Now I'm singing a different song. You were right. I was wrong. Uh... 